What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be building a lightsaber. Drop the mic, that's all I gotta say. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, you did hear that right. We're gonna be building a lightsaber, or at least the closest I'm able to get to a real lightsaber. Oh yeah, did I mention it's also a double-bladed lightsaber? Two blades, twice the fun. That's horrible. Yeah, so you may have guessed it. We're gonna be using lasers as the lightsaber blades. Already this project's getting pretty cool. So we're gonna be using two high-powered blue lasers. I'll link down in the description where I got them. This company was nice enough to send me them. So definitely go show them some love. I'm using one two and a half watt blue laser and another one watt laser. Yeah, so one out each side is going to be the plan. Also, if you want to be updated with uh, future projects, subscribe number one. But also, make sure you go uh, check out my Instagram. I actually just posted a story of me testing this. If you followed me, you would have been a little ahead of the game. So yeah, definitely go check that out uh, down below. But we're not just going to be sticking two lasers back to back, uh, but we are. We're going to be adding in another feature. Feature, and that is smoke just just smoke that's it <laughs> no but doing a lot of stuff with smoke in the past videos um, so I figured I'd take the knowledge I learned from those projects and implement them into this lightsaber because smoke plus lasers looks really cool uh, makes them pop a lot more so I figured if there was a cool way to shoot smoke out of either end of the lightsaber because the smoke will dissipate and uh, the lasers won't show up as bright um, so it'll look like the blades like just a couple feet uh, rather than like a million feet. Um, that's the idea anyway. So as the case with all my projects, I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna do this. I will film it the best I can. I'm feeling this project's gonna be kind of difficult though. So I will walk you through the building process the best I can, but uh, I'm gonna explain it all at the end. So with that being said, let's build a freaking lightsaber. Roll clip. All right guys, quick update. So at this point we've gotten the laser saber, like all the electronics are done, I think. Uh, I might have to add one more fan. Not finished yet, I'll explain more at the end. Just tried it like two seconds ago myself. Let's see if this actually still works. So we've got one main switch right here to turn on all of the uh, all of the components. Uh, we've got two more here. I'll explain what those do in a minute. If we turn this on, see both lasers go on. If I press this button should get some bit coming out 
I'm gonna kill the lights actually. All right guys, try this out. Good night. It's working. All right, let me actually connect these together for real and uh, also throw a little bit of uh, aluminum over the top just to make it a little bit cooler. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, now I have a lightsaber. Um, now, I didn't build it exactly looking like a lightsaber, like like Darth Maul's like double-bladed lightsaber. I didn't build it exactly like that, um, but I did take some inspiration. You saw in the building process, it's pretty much made up of three main parts. This part, which is one of the lasers, I think this is the one watt laser. This middle part, which contains the smoking device, pretty much just a vaporizer attached to a fan right here. Uh, I really like this part. It makes it look so like sci-fi, uh, especially when you turn it on, the fan starts running. It makes it look so legit, guys. Yeah, all this is is a uh, vaporizer. This button that I press to activate it, you can hear it kind of. That is how I turn on the smoke. As I said, attached to the vaporizer, we got this fan. So this fan sucks in air from the outside of the lightsaber, blows it through the vape up to the inside of lightsaber. So all the smoke collects inside and I've sealed it up. So pretty much the only ways the smoke can escape are from the two tips, this one and this one. Air gets sucked in, pushed through the vaporizer and out the two ends come a bunch of smoke that make the lasers look really cool. So then we move on to the two other parts, the lasers. So the whole thing is powered by two nine volt batteries uh, inside here. Um, now the wiring is a little bit tricky to understand. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out for you guys, especially because I didn't really show how I wired it in the montage. Um, so here you go. All right guys, so this is how I made the circuit. All right, so starting off, we've got the first laser call this L1. Uh, it's got a positive and a negative. Uh, then over here, we've got the other laser, L2. Again, got a positive and negative. This is the one watt laser, and this is the 3.2.5. Then over here, we've got a battery, 18 volts. Then down here, we've got a, the fan. Then we have to add in these switches as well. Coming off of the negative, we have two wires. One that goes, that will connect to all of these, and one that actually branches off over to here. So then we've got our main switch right here. Um, so this negative goes to all of these negatives. And then this positive actually just goes to all the positives. To activate this one laser, we have a button switch right here. Right now we have two switches. We have the main one and we have the button one. So ideally what we want is the main one to activate everything, the fan and the two lasers. But then we want the button switch to only activate this one laser. But right now if we press this button, it'll activate everything because the negative just goes right back to this negative, gives power to everything. So what we need to do is actually include another sliding switch right here. So when this one is in the off position, we only have this circuit right here. And then when this one is in the on position, it allows both buttons to control the whole circuit. Okay, so that hopefully uh, helped you guys understand how this uh, thing is wired a little bit better. We've got the main switch right here. This turns on both the lasers and the fan, um, and then when I want smoke, I just press this vape button and start and the coils heat up and pushes smoke. Both lasers on plus fan is controlled by this switch right here. Now, if I just want one laser on, like say I just want this one on, I have another switch, another couple of switches down here. First, what I do is I flip this slide switch right here to pretty much just disconnect the uh, this laser from main circuit. And then I use this tiny little push button right here to activate this laser through another circuit. Again, also wired up to the batteries, but this circuit that uh, the push button controls only uh, activates this one laser. So check this out. As you can see, you just got one laser there. Um, and then I just flip the switch back and I can flip the main switch on whenever I want uh, both lasers plus the smoke. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense, guys. For those of you who are curious about how this works, but for those of you who just want to see this working, don't really care about how it works, uh, you're in luck because that's what we're about to do right now. Let's go test my double bladed lightsaber on some stuff I can just dig up in this workshop. Let's go.
right guys, well that has been the video. I hope you did enjoy it, hopefully you found it entertaining, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when I upload more projects just like this. Uh, I mean guys, we just made a freaking lightsaber. Like honestly, the closest thing I think you can get. Always make sure to wear your safety goggles when using this because it really can damage your eyes. If you do like this type of project and like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. Uh, also, check out my Instagram down below. You guys already know what to do. Like and follow that. I'm uh, pretty happy with how this came out considering the time frame that I built it in. Literally just a day. Honestly though, that's the kind of builds that I like doing, just like one day projects. Otherwise, the builds just drag out. It's me just alone in the workshop. You guys don't get any content. I don't make as many videos. Uh, my channel doesn't grow as fast. That's kind of why I do these quick projects. Anyway guys, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this video. Take it easy guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And may the force be with you. Peace out guys. <laughs>